Thanks to Google for sponsoring this portion of this video. Okay, so I know AI is like the new talk of the town right now, and it's definitely understandable if you're a little confused or have mixed feelings about it. But while it might be something kind of new that some of you guys are just now starting to hear about, Google has actually been a leader in AI for years. So this is not new for them. And AI made by Google can actually change the world in some really exciting ways. AI truly is a transformational technology that can really positively impact people and societies all across the world, which is why Google reoriented the company around AI six years ago. And Google is committed to their responsibility to develop AI ethically. They've been setting the standard in ethical development to make sure that it has a positive impact on the world. So I'm gonna give you three examples of ways that Google is using AI to make a positive impact. Number one, Google is using AI to help us tackle climate related disasters. So for example, crisis response for wildfires. Google uses uses satellite imagery and AI models that can detect wildfire boundaries in near real time. And it shows their location in Google Maps and search, which can really help inform local residents and firefighters. Another example is how Google is exploring how AI can help detect diseases. Google Health has developed a mammography AI research model that integrates into breast cancer screening workflows. The goal is to improve breast cancer screening, breast cancer detection, and hopefully lead to more equitable access to care. So those are two examples of really big ways that Google is utilizing AI to have a really positive impact as it pertains to our environment and our healthcare. But a third really exciting example is BARD. And BARD is something that's really exciting because it can make an impact in smaller everyday ways. So in March, Google opened up access to BARD and it's an early experiment that lets you collaborate with generative AI. So the idea is that anyone can use BARD to fuel their productivity, inspire their creativity, and just sort of accelerate your ideas. So you might ask Bard to give you tips on how to do a certain thing or reach a certain goal. You could also ask Bard to explain a more complicated subject to you in simple terms. Or you could use Bard to help spark your creativity by having it help you outline something like a blog post. So it's all about jumpstarting human creativity, productivity, and curiosity. So in conclusion, Google and I just want you to understand all the ways that AI can help bring a meaningful and positive impact on the world. Thanks to Google for sponsoring that part of my video. And if you'd like to learn more, check out AI.Google. Now back to my regular content. I leave for Miami in three days and I am not at all prepared. I made a new friend recently, her name is Crystal and we've been meaning to get together to hang out more. And what better way to hang out with your new friend than take a little long weekend trip to Miami. I love Miami. I've been probably like five or six times so far. It's just always a good time. I love the vibes, I love the weather. I love the types of outfits that you can wear, good restaurants, fun nightlife, and there's the beach. It's just like one of my favorite places to just get away real quick without having to go too, too far. But I'm in the middle of like completely reorganizing my closet right now. So all of my clothes are in shambles. I have no idea what I'm going to wear, what I'm going to pack. I need my nails done. I got to figure out my hair. I got to do all of my like beauty personal care prep. Plus I just sort of have a busy week in general leading up to leaving town. I got to make sure all of my ducks are in a row before I leave. First things first, I really want to just get my closet back in order. Got all these clothes on my bed, plus all these clothes over here. My closet itself is coming together though. I made some really good progress the past couple of days of just sort of like decluttering, reorganizing, color coding. And I updated this section of my closet to have better purse storage. But I just feel like packing my outfits for this trip will go a lot smoother if I finish organizing my closet first. And that way I'll be choosing outfits out of a nicely organized closet, you know? So I need to like go through all this stuff. All right, I actually made really good progress. 
everything cleared out in here except for this pile which is the pile of stuff that i want to try on and look through and see if i want to pack it for miami so this is like miami options pile and then this drawer here which just needs to be completely refolded and reorganized so that the stuff actually fits in there but i just sort of gave up on it for now <laughs> and my closet is really starting to look nice and neat it's looking good i still have some work to do but we made a lot of good progress today i just took a shower threw on some comfy clothes and some sandals because i am about to go to the nail shop i need my nails done expeditiously they are looking atrocious i haven't gotten my nails done since before zaya's barbie birthday party so <laughs> way overdue and i need a pedicure as well just pulled up to the nail salon i was about to say that this is going to be the first step of my several step beautifying routine to get cute to go to miami because i had booked a lash extension appointment i have been doing the diy lash extensions for a while now but for this trip i wanted to have like the real deal extensions so they'd be a little bit more permanent and sturdy just in case i go on some jet skis or something so i booked an appointment with the girl i used to go to before i started doing the diys she had the perfect time for thursday she just texted me and said hey i'm pregnant i moved five hours away i'm actually not at that location anymore i've got to cancel your appointment i didn't know she got pregnant during the time that i stopped <laughs> going to her and moved away so now i'm trying to see like is there another lash place that i can go to i've tried a couple in my area though and had bad luck like the one place took way too long took like four hours to do what normally takes like an hour and a half i tried another place and all the lashes fell off the next day so i don't know might just have to go back to my diy lashes because that's been trustworthy i guess but now i'm about to go get my nails done i'm trying to decide how i want them done like what sort of shape and design and color and everything i have a whole saved folder on instagram that i save inspo to and there's like so much in here it's always so hard to choose i think this is super cool like the 3d drippy gold i've gotten something similar before but it wasn't 3d the nail shop that i go to is honestly pretty standard like suburban regular nail shop they're not really doing all these crazy designs and up and coming trends like this is a place you go when you just want a regular french tip but there's one nail tech in there that has like a little extra razzle dazzle to his skill and i always try to go to him because if i'm gonna be asking for something like this he's gonna be my best bet but even still it's like a little risky you know here's like the same thing in silver with the 3d drippiness silver chrome oh and here's another one yeah i think i want to try and ask him if they can do something like that Here's the nails. I went for the silver liquid chrome effects. Not too chunky and drippy because I didn't want it like too extreme, but just like a little bit of that liquid texture added with the super shiny silver chrome. I think it turned out cute. I didn't go too long because I've been sort of getting my nails a little bit shorter these days. Helps keep me from breaking them and hurting myself so much. <laughs> and then for the toes, I actually switched it up. I'm about to show y'all some free foot content. So I did a milky white French. Normally I just get plain white on my toes nine times out of 10, 9.75 times out of 10, I just get plain white. My hair looks crazy. But I went for something a little bit different this time with the milky white French tip. I think it turned out good. It's funny bunny for the milky white and then just obviously regular white French tip. Good morning, it's the next day. It's Wednesday, I leave for Miami. Super early Friday morning. So we are sort of getting down to the wire. Not to mention Zaya is actually going out of town this week and two she's going somewhere else with my parents so i've also got to pack and get her stuff ready but i'm gonna make a separate video about that so be on the lookout for how i pack for zaya but i literally made a list for myself of all the things i need to pack all the things i need to remember to do before i leave just all the stuff so that i don't forget because i'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now but some of my packages just came in of the clothes that i ordered to try to put together outfits for miami i'm supposed to have maybe like three more packages coming in. 
unfortunately I just found out one of the main ones got delayed so it's not looking like that one's gonna make it in time always happens to me do I technically need to order new clothes every time I leave town no clearly I have clothes but as a content creator you gotta hit them with something new and fresh that's just part of the job if I wasn't a content creator maybe I wouldn't I like to kind of share what's new and fresh on the market with y'all I hope this stuff fits or at least some of it like oh, please all right so here's the first outfit and it fits you guys it actually fits hallelujah so I wanted to pair these two textured green pieces together I thought it was kind of fun because the top has this ripple texture and the skirt is kind of like fuzzy glittery textured but it's like a monochrome coordinating green I don't know what shoes I would wear I do still need to go to the mall maybe today or tomorrow because I do want to look at shoes just see if there's any last minute things I can get to sort of finish off my outfits but I hadn't even gotten the outfits yet so but yeah this one fits I like it I just got to figure out the shoes the bag the everything and of course you got to imagine it with the cute hair and the cute makeup and everything obviously my hair looks crazy right now but okay we got a winner so far so good when I'm putting together outfits for something like this a lot of times I like to take pictures just so I have it for reference usually I would like do the shoes bag everything and sort of just snap a picture of how it all goes together and that way I have it to reference I tend to overpack I'm not even gonna lie because I like to bring options just in case we end up going somewhere else or what if we go to a different type of restaurant like you need to have different sorts of vibes depending on where you end up at so I tend to overpack and then I kind of forget what I packed so it's nice to have the photos of everything on my phone here's the second look I was sort of planning to pair these two pieces together again sort of like mixing the textures the metallic with like the distressed knit skirt but I don't know if I like it together now that I'm trying it on I mean it could work again styled correctly with the right shoes and bag and everything I do like the top I was sort of thinking about this top when I got my nails done because you know how I got like the silver chrome liquidy sort of goes together I think this top could easily end up looking cheap and tacky if you don't style it correctly though but I like it it fits I just need to figure out what I really want to pair with it to sort of make it work the skirt I'm not crazy about it's a little too short in the back like it gets sheer at the bottom and the little part that actually covers you is really short it's cool in the front like I like this part we'll have to see so like here it is with like a more plain cargo style skirt just like a simple black mini skirt I feel like helps tone it down I could do like silver heel with it or black heel even to make it a little bit more toned down black pants would look nice with it but I'm gonna be in Miami it's hot it's humid it's not really a black pants type of location but I could I could maybe try that then I got this top just sort of as like a little beachy moment it fits I guess but it's a little loose like I got a small I don't know if they had extra small but I probably should have sized down I mean this is something that's pretty easy for me to alter myself if I wanted to tighten it I could easily tighten it on the sides but I don't know if I even want to keep it because I have to be careful about colors like this it's so close to my skin tone sometimes it looks weird like it just blends in a little too much so I don't know it's okay I have these like linen pants that I got from Target that are just like flowy wide leg very beachy and I think I was thinking about pairing it together with this I don't know another I don't know here it is with the pants these are actually like a low rise sort of wide leg fit it's all right it's a cute little beachy moment with some little nude sandals what do y'all think <laughs> then I got this swimsuit as if I need any more swimsuits but you know you can never have too many it's like this cute sort of grayish brownish pewter dark taupe color which is what caught my attention because it's sort of a unique color little ties on the side little drawstring top situation underwire I just thought the fit of it was like simple but cute and not just your standard triangle bikini top like it got a little something to it but it's still really like simple and neutral which is cute it makes me feel kind of classy I don't know <laughs> I just thought it was cute okay and it fits so good oh but I just remembered I also got this in a couple days ago and I never tried it on it's more of like an athletic athleisure situation like it's sort of that buttery leggings material so not really meant for like a night out look but low-key it could be cute I got it in white only because I think white was the only color they had left in stock probably normally would have gotten a darker color just because I had a feeling it might be a little see-through I have on leopard print 
my underwear so of course that's gonna make it worse if I had on the right underwear it would help and it wouldn't be like too horrible because it's actually not that see-through like, I could definitely make it work it has sort of a built-in bra so you can definitely see especially in the back where it's like you can see the bra versus the rest of it and I don't love that so I definitely think this would be cuter in a different darker color that way it's more like seamless so if I got it in black or I think they had like a dark gray or a dark navy or something like that so I think I might check for that but the fit of it like the concept is really cute and like low key in a darker color I would style this for a night out heels in a little bag I mean I guess you're really supposed to like work out in it it's supposed to be more like workout wear but it's just like a really cute cut so I'm not sure if I'm gonna necessarily pack this for Miami just because the see-throughness does sort of take away from it but I don't know I'm gonna think about it I just showered and did my hair I did my little ponytail I'm about to do my makeup I have some content that I need to shoot I also need to shoot the video that I was saying I was gonna do about packing Zaya's bag so I'm about to do that today and then I will return to packing the rest of my stuff and doing the rest of my beautifying I've got a tan I've got to do lashes I've got to do all my whole routine and then I've also got to figure out my hair which now that I've done my hair like this for today I'm like should I just rock the ponytail for Miami it's cute but like do I want to be stuck with just this ponytail style for the entire weekend I don't know my other option would be to put on a wig I have a few different wigs to choose from I could do my long black wig I could do one of my blonde wigs I could break out one of my old wigs that I haven't worn in a long time maybe one of the bobs I don't know I have no idea I still need to figure that out but the backup plan would be just doing this for the weekend okay so I was racing against the clock I had time just to go into one store which was Zara and I did find a couple of things I was not able to try anything on because the line for the fitting room was so long and then the line to check out was also so so long I knew I wasn't gonna have time to try on and check out so I guessed on my sizes for everything hopefully they fit hopefully they look cute if not I'll just have to come back and make returns but it took me so long to check out at Zara I didn't have time to really go anywhere else I had a couple of other stores that I wanted to go to and then I also wanted to go to Sephora because I need a few makeup essentials to pack for Miami. But I just remembered that there is now a Sephora much closer to my house. So I can just do like an online pickup order and go pick it up tomorrow morning or something like that. So that shouldn't be a problem. But all the rest of these stores that I wanted to go to, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't have time to really complete my shopping trip just now because it is going to be kind of a hassle to come all the way back out here tomorrow. I might have time tomorrow to come back, but I might not but at least I got a couple of things from Zara hopefully they fit but yeah right now I'm racing against the clock to go back home because Zaya has her first swim lesson of the season today and it was gonna be at 4 30 but the instructor asked at the last minute to move it up to four o'clock so I have 30 minutes less than I thought I was gonna have but my dad is picking her up from school and bringing her home right now they should be getting home like right now but I wanted to be there for her swim lesson so I'm trying to like hurry up and make it back home and then I have to try on all of my stuff I just bought and just sort of like really start putting all the rest of my outfits together and then I'll sort of like see what I have and see if I need to try to come back out here tomorrow I guess. I definitely want to try on the stuff I just bought but I also have more packages that came in while I was gone. Bougie. Please. Please. Package. Oh, I know why. It's cat food. <laughs> I forgot that I ordered cat food. No wonder he was so attracted to the package. You hungry? I got my new camera handheld tripod thing that will definitely come in handy to take on the trip with me because I do plan on vlogging a little bit. And I needed a better one of these because this new camera and lens is a lot heavier than my old setup. So I needed a stronger thingy to hold it. And this is just a little connector cord that I needed for my gimbal more camera tech vlogging stuff i also got my other clothing order delivered while i was gone and then of course i have my stuff i just bought that i need to try on let's do another round of trying on okay so here's the first dress it fits for the most part except i'm holding it like this because the cup 
area is not big enough to fully enclose what all needs to be enclosed. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if there's just not enough fabric up top. So I am very much spilling out in ways that I should not be. I think with the right amount of taping and maneuvering, I might be able to make it work, but it's gonna take quite a bit of work. This is one of those things that would not be helped by going up a size because if I go up a size, that's just gonna make the rest of the dress ill-fitting and it's probably not even gonna give me much more coverage here. Fortunately, it's just my proportions of being smaller here, but bigger here. <laughs> I tend to have this problem, but I do wanna try some taping and see if I can make it work because this dress is so pretty. I mean, look at the beading. Look how pretty it is. I love it, so we'll see. Okay, the other one I hate. It's just super ill-fitting. Like it's supposed to have the little nicely draped cowl neckline, but it's just like sitting weirdly stiff and like just loose in all the wrong places. And then it's loose all throughout the waistline. And then it's got this asymmetrical, it just does not look anything like how it looked on the model on me. And it's too short in the back because it's like a diagonal hemline and the higher part is like way too short in the back. This just does not sit right, fit right, look right. Nothing is right about this. 1000% returning this. Okay, now for my Zara stuff. I recently was talking about how I never wear orange, like orange or yellow. I rarely ever buy or wear and you like won't see that really in my closet. But me saying I never wear orange and I don't really like wearing orange <laughs> inspired me to buy orange today. So I got this orange skirt, which fits okay. It's not like the best fitting skirt I've ever tried on, but fits pretty good. And then they had these heels that sort of matched with it. So I thought that could be a fun monochromatic look, maybe just with a plain white top like this or something. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. The skirt just really isn't quite fitting right. It's sticking out at the waist, which is making my waist look bigger than it is. And it's sort of puckering here in a weird way. Also, there's like a little sewing defect. Like this stitch is like messed up and like crooked. Like it had an issue at the factory. So I don't love that for what I paid for it because it was $45. So for $45, it should not have sewing mistakes and it should probably fit a little better than this. I mean, I could make it work and I could take it in myself. This is already an extra small, so this is the smallest size. It's not even a matter of like getting a different size at this point. And then the shoe, the shoe I have mixed feelings on. I like the shoe a lot more from the side view, but from the front view, I don't love it. But it's also just really different than what I normally wear, I guess, sort of. The shoe is not bad, like especially from the side, like in motion, like it's cute, I guess. I don't feel like, ooh, cute, like, yay, I'm so excited to wear this. I just sort of feel like, uh, I guess. Okay, now this I was excited for because I just thought it was so cool how it's sort of meant to look like it's two different denim mini skirts layered on top of each other. I don't have it buttoned because these buttons are so hard to do. But again, the fit is not <laughs> quite giving exactly what it's supposed to give. I mean, I guess it's okay. Okay, it's growing on me. It's really good quality denim. And the way it's made is like legitimately like two skirts on top of each other. So it's kind of a cool look. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, it's kind of cute with just like a plain white top. I have like these little white heels, something more casual, or if we want to add a pop of color, what if I wore the little orange shoe with this for a little pop, could be cute. You know, fully styled with the right accessories. I don't know what bag, I don't have a bag. Or we could go, we could go a lot of different directions. White and denim, I mean, that's so neutral. You could literally pair anything with it. I could do like a pop of green and I have a green bag that goes with this. I could of course do black. I have like these cool little fluffy black shoes. We could go super casual with like some sort of flat. I think I do like this skirt though. I think it fits good enough for like what it is and sort of like when it's denim I feel like the fit can be a little bit more not exact because that's sort of like chill denim like it's a little loose. It's a little chill. 
girl. It's a little baggy. It's denim, you know? I feel like I can get away with it with this. When I saw it in the store, I thought about what if I pair the silver top from before and do like a little silver moment. Then the last thing I got from Zara are these big old baggy denim cargos, which smell heavily of bleach. So they must have just bleached them and threw them on the rack. They're not the most flattering fit in the world just because of like how baggy they are, obviously. But that's sort of the intention. That's sort of the intended vibe. They're super wide leg, super like drop crotch baggy. I debated on if I should get a zero or a two. I went with the two so that it would be even more like oversized and baggy. If I would have got a zero, they probably would have sat up a little bit more, but then they are kind of a little too short. So I think the big low rise is just sort of like the look for these. And then like I was thinking I would pair it with heels of some sort. Definitely think it could be cool with the right styling. I'm kind of feeling the ponytail. Now that I'm trying stuff on with the ponytail, I'm kind of feeling the ponytail. Like, should I wear the ponytail to Miami? That is the question. It's gonna be too late. By the time you guys watch this video and leave your comments, I will already be back from Miami. So you can't tell me, but thinking about it. I think I like these. I think these pants are a keep. Will I wear them in Miami? I'm not 100% sure, but I do just like them, like just in general. Maybe for a different occasion, but we'll see. Okay, as I continue to try stuff on and put stuff together, including this little green number that I have on right now, that I'm still trying to style. I'm just gonna start laying out stuff on my bed that are like the for sure yeses, so I can get a better idea of what I'm working with. So we liked this little green girl. New swimsuit, two of my favorite swimsuits that I've already had for a while. This other new swimsuit set that I showed y'all in my other vlog, along with this top that also goes with those bottoms. Got a lot of little mini skirts going on. We've actually kind of got a color story going on unintentionally. All right, this is where I'm at for now. Got a decent amount of outfits picked out with like the shoes that I think I'm gonna wear with it and everything. I really do wish that that one extra package would have gotten here in time because it has some key pieces in there that I think would have really just been nice to have, but at least I have some options. So these are just sort of like random outfits. I still need to go back through and like think about our actual itinerary and think about like, okay, I'm gonna wear this for lunch on Saturday and I'm gonna wear this for dinner on Sunday, like that whole thing, just to really make sure that I have the right outfits for the right occasions if that makes sense like all throughout the trip so I'm gonna go back and like lay them out according to that and then fill in all the in-between stuff like okay and then if we go to the pool I'll wear this and if we just like grab something quick for breakfast I'll wear that and then like pajamas and loungewear and undergarments and all those things we still have a ways to go <laughs> so it's Thursday I leave tomorrow technically but my flight is so early in the morning my flight's at 5 30 in the morning and i live an hour away from the airport so i'm gonna be leaving my house at like three o'clock in the morning so it more so feels like i leave tonight because of how early my flight is so i'm just sort of doing my beauty prep stuff now i do still have more stuff that i need to pack but i want to get started on some of my prep stuff something i always do when i want to be fresh and cute is shape my eyebrows and sort of shave all the peach fuzz off of my face and i use these little disposable rays Razors. I just do a one-time use to prevent from spreading any bacteria or anything like that. And this is how I shave my eyebrows. I don't get my eyebrows waxed or threaded or anything like that. I just use this. And then like I said, I use it across my whole face. And then as far as the rest of my hair removal routine, since I am going to Miami, I do need to do my whole hair removal routine to be swimsuit ready. And I actually do sort of a weird combination of shaving some areas, waxing some areas, and and using hair removal cream on other areas. <laughs> Plus my little razor that I use on my face. So I have like four different hair removal methods that I use on different areas of my body. Don't ask me why, it's just what works for me. And yes, I do wax myself. I have these hard wax beads and a wax warmer thing. But for now, I'm just gonna start with my face because I like to do this sort of early on. So it gives my skin time to calm down because it does sort of like irritate my skin. And I just do it with any sort of like serum or face oil just anything that's gonna give my skin some slip so the razor can glide nicely all 
All right, my face is feeling fresh. I am going to do the rest of my hair removal routine for the rest of my body a little bit later. I have like a whole system in my mind of like hair removal, applying self tan, taking a shower, like it's all gotta be timed, right? So right now I'm going to apply my DIY lashes since I wasn't able to have my lash appointment. And I wanna put these on now so that they're done and they'll be on for when I arrive tomorrow. But if I had to guess based on experience, they're probably not gonna hold up all the way until Monday, like all the way through my whole trip, especially if there's any like swimming ocean beach going on. So I am gonna bring the stuff with me, but I just wanna have my first set done now. I can usually get these to last like sometimes three to four days, but it just depends on what I got going on. But if y'all wanna know exactly how I do these and what exact products I use, I did a makeup tutorial here on my channel, kind of recently. Recently. It's called like my natural soft glam go-to makeup look or something like that And it's like a full in-depth tutorial breaking everything down. So definitely check that out These are super good for like trips and vacations and stuff because you don't have to keep putting on a strip lash Every single time you do your makeup. Okay, the lashes are done. Okay, so it is 2 45 p.m. On Thursday now Zaya has officially left with my parents to go on their excursion. So now I'm I'm just here by myself trying to finish getting myself ready to leave at three o'clock in the morning. I did go ahead and type up a little itinerary. We don't have a jam-packed itinerary. We're sort of just wanting to relax and play it by ear most of the time, but we do have certain like restaurant reservations and like a few little things planned. So I wanted to make sure that I had that like nicely typed up to reference to fully plan out my outfits like I was saying before. So I love just using the notes app on my phone to just sort of map everything out you know you want to be able to cross reference you don't want to be stuck not having the right outfit for the right thing that you're about to go do so let's just go in order the first outfit that i need is my airport outfit slash what i'm going to wear when i first arrive in miami knowing that we land at 9 30 in the morning and we cannot check into our hotel until seemingly 4 p.m so we will be stranded and straggling for the whole first half of the day with either what we wore to the airport or whatever we have like in our carry-on bag that we can kind of quickly change into without having full access to our hotel room. So I need to plan that smartly. Here's what I'm thinking. My little beachy linen pants, silky satin white button down oversized and underneath the white button down just so I have like layering options, one of these little crop top bra tops, maybe just a black one, maybe this one or this one, something like that so I can have a little layer underneath the button down and then just pairing it with these sandals that I was gonna wanna bring anyway. So it's sort of like a beachy fit that will be nice to like walk around in once I get there. And then I will also make sure to have a swimsuit easily accessible in my carry-on bag that I can easily pair with these pants and this shirt just sort of over it. And I might even put these shorts in my carry-on bag with it just in case I wanna do the sh matching shorts with the shirt. If I wanna change into that once I get there, if it's super hot or something. That way when I get there, I'm sort of dressed appropriately but I also like have the option if we want to kill time at the pool or the beach because that's sort of what we're planning on doing since we get there so early and we can't check into our room we're thinking we'll probably go up to the pool go to the beach walk around just enjoy the sights that's sort of my plan for that the next outfit I'll need is for tomorrow night we have dinner reservations at sexy fish which is an underwater themed sushi restaurant and I really wanted to wear this dress for that I bought this dress specifically for that because it's giving underwater themed sushi restaurant, is it not? Like, come on, it's perfect for the location and it'll be so cute to take pictures in this with the way that the restaurant looks. But remember that my friends don't quite fit in this dress, so I still have to see if I can finesse that. If not, I can do my other green outfit, which we know fits and is sort of in a similar, you know, it's kind of in the same vein with the green and the texture textures and stuff. So this is sort of the backup for the green dress. I think white is a safe choice. Other than that, I don't really have like another perfect shoe that would go with this particular family of greens. And then for a bag, I also don't have the perfect bag either. Like I have this bag, but this is like a lot more of like a daytime bag, I feel. Like for the dress, no. For this, maybe. Okay, airport fit. When I get there going to the beach, dinner tomorrow 
night options, nightlife after dinner option, next day daytime options, nighttime dress, next day daytime brunch outfit, the colorful one, and then some nighttime options. And then I'm completely missing an outfit for Monday's brunch. And some of the options that I have here, I'm not super in love with. So you know what that means. <laughs> we going back out to the stores and I didn't get a chance to fully shop yesterday. I have some time now though, so let's go. All right, I just had some success at Target filling in some of the gaps, just more like little toiletries and little things. But now I'm gonna go to Sephora and get the makeup essentials that I need. And then after that, I'm gonna actually go back out to the mall, check out Aritzia, go back to Zara because I am returning the orange stuff. I debated on the shoes for a long time because I was like, maybe at least I'll keep the shoes, but I don't love them. I just really don't love them. I really don't think I'm gonna wear them. I think an orange shoe is a cool idea, but just not that shoe and I'm definitely returning this skirt. I'm gonna make that return, see if there's anything else in the store that I see that I want and then check out Aritzia. I wanna go to Steve Madden, look at shoes and bags and then maybe just like Nordstrom and just like all the rest of the stores at the mall that might have what I need to complete the rest of my looks. I'm missing like one whole outfit and like could I find something in my closet to wear? Perhaps, but I wanna at least give it a fair shot at the mall, you know? Okay mini setting sprays secured. Now on to the next location. You guys, it is 8.35 at night now. I have been all over town. Literally, my eyes are heavy. I'm so exhausted. And I do this to myself every time before every trip. I run myself, I overexert myself to the point of pure exhaustion to where I'm now down to the last few hours before I need to leave for my trip. And I still have so much to do. I still have to finish my whole like beauty routine, hair removal, tan, hair, all the things to make sure I'm good and looking good. And then I still have to actually pack. This was just all the preliminary pre-packing errands and trying on and situating. Not to mention, in this video, I'm only showing you the things that pertain to getting ready for Miami. I'm not showing you all the other things I've been doing throughout each day that just have, I have been up since 6.30 this morning, filming content and just doing all types of stuff. I am just, I have to take a nap. The Uber, I already scheduled my Uber. I always schedule ahead because where I live, it's better to just schedule ahead anyway you can't be trying to call an Uber last minute because it's gonna be like, okay, well, we will come pick you up in about 30 minutes. Like, no, you can't be calling an Uber last minute. So I scheduled it ahead already to come pick me up at 3.15 a.m. so I can get to the airport because I live so far and make it for my 5 a.m. flight, 5.30, I think. So that's already done. Right now, before anything else, I'm going to set a few different alarms because I think I'm gonna take a nap and then finish my stuff. Like, I'm just so tired, I have a headache. <laughs> and I know it's like such first world problems you guys are probably thinking like oh boo hoo you went shopping all day and now you're tired and you're too tired for your fun trip to Miami like oh what a pain but it's like I'm only showing y'all half the story in this video I have just been on go on 10 on my feet all around town doing all types of things back to back to back with very little rest and very little sleep I'm not okay right now and now I have a whole weekend ahead of me how am I going to survive I'm getting off track let me set these alarms so it's 8.30 right now. I'm gonna set an alarm for 9.30 p.m. I'm gonna just lay down and relax and take a quick cat nap for an hour because I cannot function right now. Then I'm gonna get up, do my stuff, and actually finish packing everything. I mean, at this point, I know what I'm packing. I just need to physically put it into the bags and things. So that really shouldn't take too, too long. And then I'm just gonna set another alarm just in case I end up falling asleep again or something. I'm gonna set another alarm alarm for like 2.45 a.m. Because my Uber is coming to pick me up at 3.15. So if anything happens, like at the very least, I'll wake up at 2.45. I'll have 30 minutes to do whatever the heck I need to do. Make sure my phone is on loud. Make sure my phone is charged. I am not finna miss this flight after all I've gone through to prepare for this trip. But it was a successful shopping day. I'm glad that I went back out shopping because I definitely clearly found some stuff. And now I feel like I'm more prepared to actually have 
have what I need to complete my outfits and stuff. Okay, so here is my haul from just now. When I tell y'all I went all around the world to get these items, I really did. So I returned the orange stuff. I got this dress and this bag instead, which I think the bag is so pretty with all the pearl detailing. I did not try this dress on, so wish me luck, uh, but the fabric is very pretty. I got this set of waist beads, waist chains, just like a cute little accessory to go with crop tops. I got this unnecessary Virgo keychain for some reason, but it was Virgo and it was pink, so I had to get it. I got these earrings. I thought they would go nicely with my green outfits over here, and they do, so that's cool. Then I got these simple silver earrings because I'm starting to become a little bit more of a silver girl too. I got some double-sided fashion tape because I really need that for some of my outfits, and I ran out. I got these silver strappy heels, which I just wanted a more simple sleek heel, but it does have a little surprise, a little rhinestone surprise. I just can't resist the rhinestones. So I thought those were cute. Just a little bit more simple and classy versus these other ones that I got from Amazon. Do I really need both of these silver shoes in my life? I think yes. You may beg to differ, but I'm just kind of on a silver kick right now. And I got these to wear with this outfit, perhaps with the metallic silver top. I got this little white clutch, which is going to be nice to go with some of like these outfits over here that I didn't really want to do this bag because it just didn't feel like the right buy, but like this feels a little more dressy. And then I also got this bag. It still has the plastic on the handle, but fully rhinestone, kind of a rose gold color, little evening bag because I have these rose gold strappy heels and that'll be really nice to pair together, maybe with this blue dress or with some of these other things. I got this green dress, which they left the freaking sensor on, which is so annoying, but I thought it would be nice just for like something casual, like just to wear to breakfast or something, but I guess I'm not bringing it because I won't have time to get the sensor taken off. I got this little black skirt, like black denim skirt. I sort of just grabbed this. I don't think I really need it for any of my outfits over here, but I mean, I could, like if I wanted to do that instead of that maybe. Then I just got this simple little bra top to have a better option of something to wear underneath my button down to the airport maybe. And then also from Target, I just got some toiletries that I needed, hair gel, hairspray, hair ties, makeup wipes, that type of stuff. Also went to Sephora, got the two setting sprays in the travel size that I wanted. And then I also went to CVS because I really wanted these specific pasties and this specific fashion tape because I've tried it before and I know it sticks really well. So yeah, I think at this point I have shown y'all quite enough shopping, quite enough trying on and styling all the clothes and shoes and accessories. At this point, I just need to pack it up. Also, I might do a little bit of shopping when I'm there. Did I go overboard for this little four day trip? Probably, but I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared. I'd rather have too many options than not enough options. I have all my new stuff, but then the other half is all leftover from previous trips where I didn't get to wear it on the last trip. So now I'm wearing it on this one and it all just sort of rolls over. I buy a lot of stuff, but I return a lot of stuff because the stuff don't be fitting. It all equals out at the end of the day, right? Screw it. I'm up, I'm powering through. I'm not taking my nap. We're just gonna keep going. I got all of my packing cubes and my dust bags. I always keep the dust bags if I get one, if it comes with a bag or a pair of shoes or something, cause it really helps with packing. And then I have this set of packing cubes that I got from Amazon just to keep everything organized. So I'm gonna take a small pouch from the set and put all of my undies in there so they're separated and I have easy access. Then I'm gonna take another small pouch and separate out basically like my loungewear pajamas situation. I have this little lounge set. It's kind of like a sports bra and shorts. My trusty graphic tee, if you know, you know, and just a pair of little like lounge, like pajama shorts. Then I am going to take another pouch and do all of my swimwear. And I also have like my little cover-ups. I have this little knit cover-up skirt that I'm gonna bring. This little cover-up skirt that goes with this bikini. Then I have my orange string bikini and this other top that sort of matches with a few of the different bottoms. And then I have my one extra brown swimsuit that I'm going to put in my little carry-on bag for easier access outside of my actual suitcase. So that's the swimwear done. I know for sure I'm gonna bring this bag, this new bag, my silver one, and this one. That's four bags on top of whatever like regular bag I carry to the airport. I ordered a green bag. Did it come in? Please hold.
told. I'm glad I remembered that because these packages were just sitting at my door. I would have forgotten about this extra stuff. Here's my green bag that I ordered. Okay, I think I like it. Go with these shoes and I think it goes pretty well. I have actually like three different outfits that I could wear the green bag and shoes with. I'll decide when I get there, but I definitely want to bring this bag. That's a lot of bags. It's like a different bag for every outfit because you know, it's got to match. The shoes and bags are what really start like taking up too much space in the suitcase, but like you need it to complete each outfit. I got a bunch of silver rings because again, I'm in my silver era right now. I used to be such a gold girl. I had absolutely no silver jewelry. So I'm like having to start my silver jewelry collection from scratch. So these came as like a big multi-pack set and they actually feel like they have a good weight to them. They feel really good quality. Like they don't feel cheap at all. And they're all like adjustable in the back. So I need to like adjust them and figure out obviously how I would really wear them. But this is a nice little set. Okay, that's what I was saying. I'm bringing all these different bags, but I wanna protect them. So I'm gonna use dust bags. I'm gonna pack them in dust bags like this so they don't get messed up. At least the more fragile ones, this beaded one. These two are probably fine to be loose. This one, just cause it's white. I don't want it to have a shoe be bumping up against it or something and get dirty. So these are all the bags and all the shoes. Surprisingly, I don't think I'm packing a black heel. I'm gonna wear these to the airport and I'm gonna pack these or whichever way. One of these I'm gonna wear to the airport, one of these I'm gonna pack just so I have the two sandal options and I'm not gonna pack any sneakers or anything. I just don't think I'll need it. Again with the dust bags. Now for the rest of my actual clothes, I'm gonna split it into two packing cubes. I'm gonna do like a nighttime looks and a daytime looks just to help it stay a little more organized. And you'd be surprised how much you can fit in these cubes if you fold it and squish it right. And again, I already know I'm overpacking. These are way more outfits than I will be able to wear while I'm there. But I just want to be prepared. And I will save the other looks that I don't wear for my next trip. So these are like my brunch lunch fits. And some of these pieces are also like interchangeable. Like I might decide when I get there to sort of like mix and match or do whatever, but I at least want to have it somewhat organized how I planned it so that I'm not all just like discombobulated when I open my suitcase. This dress, this beaded dress, I actually think I might put it in its own dust bag because I don't want it to snag on anything else. I'm going to put it in this dust bag first so it's like safe and sound in here and then I'm gonna put it into the packing cube like that. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna wear this. Should I even bring this? I'm trying not to like over overpack. Like I know I'm already overpacking, but how far is too far? How much is too much? If it fits, it ships. Honestly, what's one extra piece of clothing at this point? It fits, so who cares? Daytime looks, nighttime looks. Cool. Also in my pouch that has my underwear in it, I'm gonna pack my fashion tape and my pasties in that same pouch because that kind of goes in that same category. I don't even wanna say what time it is right now. I did take a nap. We are down to the wire. I've already started packing my jewelry and putting stuff into my suitcase. I do have this little jewelry organizer case thing, which really comes in handy. So I tend to just throw a bunch of options in here. Of course, I packed my new purchases and then I'm sort of just adding in some old favorites as well, just so I have a lot to choose from. This organizer holds a a lot of stuff. I'll do bracelets, rings. I already have on some stuff that I'll just leave on and bring. And then also sunglasses. And instead of using like these sort of big bulky hard cases that I know are the best as far as being like super protective, they're just so bulky to pack. I like to use these little sleeve type cases. They're still pretty protective as long as you're careful not to like do anything that's gonna crunch the glasses. It still protects them pretty 
pretty well and it's a lot more just like slim for packing. I like to just put the glasses in there. I think I'm gonna bring like four pairs. <laughs> Again, different options for different outfits. Okay, so I've got this other heavy duty booby tape, fashion tape that I'm gonna bring. Then I'm going to do the jewelry in here. And then for the glasses, I'm actually gonna put them in my carry-on for safekeeping so I know that they're not getting squished. Now for toiletries, I pretty much keep a toiletry bag packed at all times. I have this case that sort of matches my jewelry bag and I actually have an air tag on it too so that I can track my luggage. But yeah, this is one of those big fold out things with all the different sections. So I have it sort of sectioned out into different categories of items. So like hair care, skin care, toothbrush, oral care type stuff. So this is usually pretty much ready to go. I just like to go through and just check it and make sure nothing needs to be like restocked in there or certain special things added that I need just for this trip or just for this hairstyle or whatever the case may be. I have a whole section in the same cabinet of like backup toiletries. And then I also have my toiletry closet in my guest room. If y'all saw that video where I organized that and I made like my little toiletry shopping shelf of like backstop. I got extra hair ties today because I knew I needed more and I needed to add some into here. Okay, I actually do need to go shopping in my little guest room toiletry closet that I have here. I need to grab lotion and a razor. I'm gonna grab a fresh pack of antibacterial wipes for my carry-on bag too. That comes in super handy to have a bag stock of that stuff. Love having little grab and go travel sizes. Let me add in my fresh razor, my lotion. I'm also gonna pack my little wrist face wash, prevent the water from running down your arms when you're washing your face thingies, and a little makeup remover microfiber cloth. Just comes in handy for the makeup removal process. And I'm going to pack my shower cap. That should be good for toiletries. So this just folds up. The other thing I'm gonna bring is this portable light up mirror, which of course it's not charged, so I'll just have to bring the charger with me, and it's kind of dirty. I used to have a bigger, size like better one but I stepped on it and cracked it so I only have this one it's still a decent size and it still comes in handy so I'm gonna bring that so now my toiletries bag is gonna go right in here like that okay next I'm gonna pack my carry-on bag which I'm actually gonna use this duffel bag it's really spacious and I also sort of always keep this pre-packed I have this sort of like a little emergency kit situation it just has all your emergency the items in it. Feminine products, chapsticks, stain remover, wipes, hand sanitizer, just like all those little emergency things that you need easy access to. So I always keep this in here. I'm gonna add that fresh pack of antibacterial wipes in here. because This pack is kind of crusty and dried out. And then I'm sort of just gonna transfer a lot of my key items from my everyday purse into this bag because I'm not going to bring this purse with me, I don't think. So like my AirPods, my wallet, obviously, my keys, some of my favorite claw clips, my gum, travel mirror, nausea medication, selfie light, and the charger for the selfie light, which is actually the same type of charger that my light up mirror uses, so that's good. I think that's pretty much all I need out of here. So I'm just gonna pack all of that into the inner pockets of this, including my sunglasses and some candy for the road. I'm also gonna bring this little canvas tote, Raven's resort. I'm just gonna like fold it up real small and bring it as sort of like a beach bag option. I have some actual beach bags, but this is like the smallest, most compact thing. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna end up using this at all. So I just wanna bring like something small like this. And then, like I've been saying, I need to pack my extra outfit in here since we won't be able to check into our hotel room. I just wanna be able to grab this out of here and change like in the hotel lobby bathroom. So I'm gonna get it ready ready by taking all the tags off and everything. And this extra little top. Okay, I am down to the wire. The last thing I added to my suitcase was my makeup bag right there. And then this black bag has all of my makeup.
makeup brushes and tools in it. So that completes the suitcase. So I can close this up now. Okay, y'all, I am literally naked. I'm about to jump in the shower and throw on my clothes and my Uber will be here in a few minutes. So I'm in a rush. Wish me luck that I didn't forget anything and I'm going to Miami.